Okay, so here we are in the studio once more. Um, so I just thought I'd uh, remind everybody of what we did last week. So last week we were looking at a colour chart and how to mix different colours together and uh, basically to create a colour chart that we can reference when doing paintings with our own personal uh, palette of paints. So over here, look, we've got um, all of my paints looking a bit messy at the moment, but uh, got all the different uh, colours here. Um, I only had room for about what 26 colours on my colour chart, whereas I've got about 40 something in here. But um, what I did is I put together a grid of squares across um, the whole of my page. Uh, and then I've painted the colours along the top. That's each colour and each colour in corresponding uh, order down the vertical side. And then through the diagonal, I've also painted all of the colours. Um, so therefore, if you mix a number four with a number four, then you get a number four. But if you mix a number four with a number three, then you get another colour. So the idea being that you can work out roughly what kind of colours you're going to get. Clearly, if you add more water or more pigment, you're going to get a different um, hue or a different uh, tone range in there as well. Um, but the next thing we're going to do um, uh, as part of our quick look at a colour to help us with watercolours particularly is we're going to um, look at using primary colours, that's the primary colours being red, yellow and blue and we're going to put those colours together to make a colour wheel then we're going to see what happens when we um, mix those colours directly together as well. Um, so it's just a really simple and basic way of looking at colour theory and the colour wheel. So we're going to start off then by drawing a um, a circle to represent a colour wheel. So I'm just going to do that just here. I'll do it nice and dark so you can see it. And we'll zoom in a little bit more as well so we can see what happens when those colours get mixed too. All right. So here we go then. So first of all, what we're going to do is just below this uh, egg-shaped colour wheel, I'm going to um, start by putting down our three uh, primary colours. So the first one is cadmium yellow or cadmium hue. So you get plenty of that on the brush. I'm going to put it down and then add a little bit of water uh, underneath to dilute that colour so we can just get an idea of how that colour looks before we put it on our egg shaped colour wheel <laughs> like that. Uh, wash off the brush of course and then we'll try this one which is the next um, primary colour so we've got a cadmium red deep hue here. So we put some of that down on the surface and then we're going to add water to that to again dilute it. So notice I'm adding water just below where the paint was. And then we'll do the next one. Now I did want to use uh, for Talio, but I found this palette didn't have it, so I've gone for something quite bold, which is a nice turquoise blue. So we've got a lovely, strong blue on there. I'm going to add some water once more to dilute it and blend it out. So we've got our three primary colours that we're using tonight on there. So I'm going to zoom back out again and just move everything around slightly so we can get a better view. So this is a really kind of loose way of doing it, but it's a lot of fun too. So what we're going to do is we'll start off with the uh, clean brush and a little bit of 
the yellow around here. I'm going to paint that in, stick a bit of water over there. And then we'll go for the red. So swish that around like that. And to get it a bit closer again, put the red down and then add a little bit of water. As we go up here, we can get those colours to blend. blend through so we've got this kind of secondary color coming now which is a nice orange uh, and then we'll try the old turquoise that we've got just here too put that around here like that and then we're going to mix these two colors together after that so we end up with this lovely deep purple colour in the middle. We let those colours drift into each other with the water. So we've got this deep sort of purpley colour. And I'm just going to add a bit more yellow around this side now. And there we go. So we've got that turquoise mixing with the cadmium colour. So there we go. So we now have a bit of a colour wheel going on. So we can automatically see what happens when the three primaries are mixed together on there. Um, so what we'll do next is we're going to try and have a look at what happens if we mix all of the colours with each other. So I've got my primaries on here again. So we'll come back out and what we'll do is we'll mix those colours all together all at once on, on the palette. So let's just clean that off actually, a little area. Just give that a quick clean. Get a bit of tissue. Okay, so first of all, putting in a little bit of the yellow, clean the brush, get some of the cadmium hue, put that together with it, and some of the turquoise, and we'll see what um, colour we get. At the moment, we've got a sort of a greeny colour, so we might need some of the others. So with all of the colours mixed together, we get these different hues of colour again. So we've ended up with some brown. So now we've got this brown, I'm going to add a little bit more red to it. And we'll have a nice reddish sort of brown in there and then if I had a bit more blue actually we've gone for more of a grey here I, I suspect let's just add a bit more around to that so there we go a bit splattery but there you go so Mixing all of those colours together, we end up with some different browns of varying tones. And if we keep adding uh, stronger colours to the mix, we can get something like what we've already got, actually, to be honest with you, on the last mix. 
which was a kind of a grey. So I'm just going to redo this. So I'm going to put that down. And we get these lovely, sort of a greeny sort of grey colour on there as well. Let's try a bit more blue with it. So I've mixed all of the uh, colours together, ended up with this kind of bluey grey. I've added a bit more blue to this one. And again, it's come out kind of bluish. Uh, let's try uh, a little bit more red in the mix for this nice grey. I think this is something more like what we've just had up above. Yeah, very similar to above. So I'll put some more yellow with that. And there we go, that's a kind of browny grey now. So I'd say this one is pretty much closest to the grey here. This is where I had sort of a reddish colour over here and I've added a little bit of yellow and that's taken it into sort of a different grey. And you'll find of course that there's loads of different types of greys that um, you can achieve using your watercolours. So, so pretty simply put, what we've got here is our colour wheel a basic colour wheel using primaries so primaries being sort of this turquoise blue cadmium yellow hue and deep red cadmium deep cadmium red there and then in between that you've got your secondary 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 and uh, orange another secondary but everything in between that would be a tertiary color as well that's a T. I'll just do a T for that one. So you've got yellow, yellow, orange, yellow, uh, orange, yellow. And then you've got um, you've got your secondary, which is the orange, and then you've got your orange, red, and so forth. So they all blended together really nicely just there. Okay, and then over here, this is all primaries mixed in varying amounts ideal for things like shadows and things like that okay so that's uh, a very short lesson uh, on color theory um, so we'll be uh, we'll be trying that uh, tomorrow uh, so I'm going to go over that again in the lesson but uh, we should have a lot of fun exploring that we'll also be looking at a few different artists okay see you soon then cheerio